Hello everyone, welcome to my video demonstrating how to set up a mid-side processor with linked TQs on one track in the Reaper DAW. I had a little look for some videos explaining how to do this and couldn't actually find any. So after a little bit of head scratching and trial and error, I managed to sort one out. I'll run through the process here. So I'll start by making a track. And my track comes with a RBJ 1073 EQ already loaded on it. Um, sound familiar, so I'm just going to put two of them on for the purposes of this. And let's change the name. I'm going to call one mid. and the other side okay that's the first thing and the next thing we're going to do is add we want the mid side encoder and decoder here if you mine's in the recently used but if you just search up at the top it'll find it quite quickly so we're going to use these two and then they're going to come into this track so the configuration you want to have, you want to have the encoder at the top, then the mid, then the side, then the decoder. And then we're going to go to the pin connector, which is located here. So we'll open that. And for this, we need six pins. And you can see that the encoder has renamed the outputs mid and side because this is going to convert the center information and the side information into mono, basically. So we'll take these out and we'll leave these where they are. And we'll go through the mid output at three and the side output at four. Then we'll move on to the mid EQ. And this one, we want to take all the pins out and we want to go through the left input at three. And we want to go through the left output at five. So there's our mono root. Then the side will make this one come through the right input of four and out the right output of six. Then we'll go to the decoder. And here is where it all comes together. We're going to come through the inputs mid and side, five and six, and leave the left and right inputs where they are normally. So now this audio will take a path which will come in and out of the same track, but we can control the mid and the side with these EQs, which is pretty handy. Um, it's a good idea at this stage just to check you've done the pins correctly. Uh, if you've done it the way I showed you, it should work straight away. Um, but you wanna check it. So let's put um, some audio in. You're not going to hear any audio here because the routing is turned off. So let's switch that on and play. There it is. Okay. So the way to check that this is working is actually to use another mid side processor. Rig this up like this. I learned how to do it from. Kenny Joya, he has got a lot of good stuff on YouTube, how to use Reaper, and I have to admit it is useful. So we're going to plug that in to our mid side. Now this one is good because it allows us to solo out the center channel or the sides, which you can't do with this configuration. 
However, this one comes through on four tracks. So if you're wanting to put mid-side processing on a lot of tracks, this can sort of stack up quite quickly. Um, and I've found that this is quite handy if you just want to have a little bit of control uh, over those mid and side channels and quickly and easily. So let's play it. So centre. So we can see that EQ affected the centre. So now let's see if it affected the sides. So nothing affected on the sides by the mid EQ. So we know that that's working correctly. And let's do the opposite on the side. So let's start with the sides. So load and play. So that's definitely affecting the sides. And let's let's solo the center. Check this one. Reset this one. No change there. That means that the information is going through the side here and that is working correctly. So we can delete this and just stick with this. Now, I'm going to return this back to its normal state. The last thing I want to do before I save this as a template is to link this control here. You do that in Reaper, you do it by touching it with the mouse, which is like what I'm doing just now. And that will be the last thing you touch. Then you go up to the parameter menu here and choose this option. And you're going to get this menu and you're going to link. So now you can see our side EQ here. And we're going to link the mid boost. There it is. Now it's done this um, thing here where it's now being controlled by the other. So it's good to have them like this so you can see them and you can see they're now controlled. But it's not operating as I would like. So we're going to change the scale actually. So I want this to go in reverse order. So we're going to put the scale to minus 100 and then we're going to reset the baseline. The baseline is all the way up to the top and the scale is negative 100. Now what happens if I move up a few dB, it's going to move this one down a few dB. The other thing I want to link is the frequency band. Let's choose that and link that to the same on the side, which is number four here. Okay. So there we have it, that's it. Now we can change this frequency and it will change it on the mid, which is good. Boost and cut at the same time. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this the mid side EQ. And we'll save that by right clicking. Save the tracks, the template, and we'll call it mid side EQ. All right, save. Okay, now let's listen to it through a track. Here's the track. I'm gonna play some electric piano. 
some of these violins which I want not to be clouded out by the electric piano um, and the way I'm going to do that is by using the mid side processor that we just made so go into my track templates and here it is yeah it's all set up like we like I'm going to put this here and master send it. Okay, let's play around. 